Yosuke, are you alone again today? Yeah, so? Well, do you want to have lunch with me today? I refuse. My name is Yusuke Ishiki, just a regular old high school student. Hey, wait a second. What? Do you realize it's me that's offering to have lunch with you? Why can't you just say yes? Well, because I really don't want to. This pretty girl with her looks being the only thing going for her and is annoyingly sticking around me is Kyoko Sayama. It was one incident that had caused her to pester me like this. It all started on the day of the interest ceremony of high school. I was roaming around looking for the gym. Shoot! Where am I? It was then... Oh... Huh? That's how I met Kyoko. Seeing her up in a tree with a cat. Um... Oh, you've come at just the right time. Can you help me? Huh? Before she asked me what I was doing out, she started a conversation with me. She apparently got stuck in a tree trying to help a cat. So come on, help me. Why are you so arrogant? Because I'm beautiful, that's why. It's true, but it frustrates me that you say that about yourself. I don't care, just help me. The branches are starting to crack. Well, if you're going to ask a favor of someone, isn't... Hurry up and help me, better? Only a masochist would probably help you after that? Huh. I don't like being bossed around, so I hope you get down from there safely. H hey, wait, I get it. P please? Come on, help me. I was still unsatisfied with her attitude, but she indeed was in trouble, so I decided to help her. But... Ah! Look out! The branch that Kyoko was on had snapped, and she started to tumble down. I wasted no time going in to save her. Uh. Huh? Are you okay? Y you're heavy! So rude! I was taken away on an ambulance, and I suffered a broken arm. Because of that, I couldn't make it to the entrance ceremony, and I had to take a whole week off the first week of school. It's a nice day out today. Due to this, I missed out the opportunity to make friends and started my high school life alone. But there was one person that would come up to talk to me. That was... Good morning, Yosuke. Morning. The whole reason for my broken arm was Kyoko. Kyoko is pretty hot, right? Yeah, she's really approachable too. I think she's the best in the whole grade. Kyoko is pretty, and she was quite popular at school. It looks like she's putting on a kinder face at school, so she acted totally different from when I first met her. You're acting like a totally different person now, aren't we? Of course, I'm really pretty, so I need to act in a way that matches my looks and be nice to everyone. Must be tough. So it was really uncalled for that I had you see me like that? I'll never forgive you if you tell anyone about this. Before anything, it's your fault that I broke my arm and that I'm alone at school now. Anyway, I'm going to keep a close eye on you so that you don't leak my secret to other people. Huh? I won't tell anyone. How can I trust you? You have to stay close to me whenever you're at school, understood? Huh? No way! You'd rather spend time with your friends anyway, too, right? And fortunately for you, I don't mind. I don't need to make friends that I'm close to all the time because people naturally gravitate towards me. Lucky you, Miss Popular. So that's how this whole stalking thing started. Kyoko was a totally different person at school. Let's go home together, Yosuke. So, sure. Rumors of the popular girl Kyoko and me, the loner, had spread like wildfire. Why does he seem so close to Kyoko? I mean, who is he again? Hey, isn't he that guy who couldn't come to the entrance ceremony because of a broken bone or something? Oh, the first day, broken bone guy. I even had a weird nickname now, too. People were questioning our relationship. Hey, don't you know there are strange rumors going around about us? Sure, all you have to do is deny it. If you're okay with it. So is your arm doing okay? Huh? Well, it's two months till recovery, so it's inconvenient, but what can you do? Thanks. Huh? Did you just say something? N no, nothing. I'm hungry. We're going out to get crepes. Huh? Why me too? We're going. Well, why? So my days are like this, being pushed around by Kyoko.
I had quite a few guys come up to me asking how a regular guy like me landed a girl like Kyoko. Hey, so how did you end up with a girl like Kyoko? Let us end in on your secret. Well, we're not dating. Huh? But you two are so close. That's a bit of a stretch for a lie. The fact that I denied our relationship and that Kyoko backed it up, now it was going around that Kyoko and I were in fact not dating. So now guys were approaching me, asking me to be their wingman and get closer to Kyoko. So Kyoko had said, that kind of man is not sufficient for me, so tell them all, if you really like me, come approach me yourself. Well, you might say that, but... I mean, why are you trying to get them hooked up with me anyway? Well, they came back to talk to a loner like me, and I feel happy. Ugh. When it comes to loner introverts like you, being used so easily just because they were a little bit nice to you... Sh shut up! It was quite annoying, but thanks to Kyoko, I was gradually able to make some guy friends of my own. Hey, did you know? The uni student that works at the convenience store is really hot. Really? Yeah, so let's go there after school and go take a look at her beauty. Is it really worth the time? All our conversations were about silly things like this, but I was really able to escape my loner status. Hey, Yosuke, can you get that stuffy for me? Huh? I don't know. I kind of feel like I might be able to. Well, do it. Huh? Get it for me. Why? Give me that cute stuffed animal. I would have done it had it not been for that attitude of yours. I was still spending time with Kyoko and she would drag me to places after school under the purpose of keeping an eye on me. And it ended up costing me 2,000 yen. You took too long. Hey, I got it for you, didn't I? Well, that's true. Thanks. So, sure. It usually would have gone more like, it's only natural for you to get it for a cute girl like me. So it's kind of odd seeing her to be so much more reasonable. Her change in attitude was taking me by surprise. Recently, I have not been able to keep my eyes off of her. Yosuke, get your eyes off of Kyoko and focus on the class. What? It's not like that. What are you gawking at? You embarrassed me in front of the whole class today. Sorry. Oh, so you don't deny the fact that you were gawking at me? Do you finally realize my true beauty? Maybe. Huh. Hmm. Oh, um, no! I, I see. So you finally understand what a catch I am. Glad you finally came around. Well, I'm going to class now. Oh. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine, but bye. Oh, okay. I was starting to realize. Her giving me the opportunity to make friends, and her being the first one to start talking to me, made me start to fall for her. So I didn't really want to hear guys talking about her. Kyoko came to talk to me the other day. She smiled so nice. Really? I'm so jealous. C cool! Hey, Yosuke, aren't you keeping up with the conversation? Oh, well, it's not really a big deal to Yosuke. I'm really envious of you. But it's really reassuring that you and Kyoko are only friends. Yeah, it would have been all over for us had he said that you guys were dating. Yes, we are just friends. No, I don't know if we are even that. So I have no right to say anything. Huh. I realize my true feelings. And although I understand that it's very dumb of me, I found myself acting differently around Kyoko. But it was then. Yosuke! Huh? What are you up to again? W what else was I supposed to do? A cat was stuck in a tree again. You can't get down either. Think a little before you act. Kyoko was stuck up in a tree again. Of course, the tree was starting to creak, and soon after... Ah! Kyoko! Just as I had done on the day of the entrance ceremony, I was running over to save Kyoko. Ugh! Not again! Th thank you. I guess you deserve a... Are you stupid? You could have gotten hurt. Why did you get up on that tree again? W why are you so mad? Why do you care? It's my own decision. It's not just your own. Do you have any idea how much I care about you? Huh? You care about me? Of course I do. You're such an important... I realized then what a silly thing I was burning out. I it's none of your business, stupid, stupid. What? Well, you're the stupid one. Who would go back up a tree after they've fallen out of one? 
Shut up. I have confidence that I could pull it off this time. Well, you didn't pull it off. We were fighting under the tree as if to hide our true feeling from each other. Yosuke? What is it, Kyoko? We don't have school tomorrow. Come with me to go shopping tomorrow. Again? How many outfits could you possibly need? Why not? You get to see how cute I look then. Sure, sure. I'm going to school. I greeted my parents in the picture and left my worn out apartment. My name is Ryota Yanagita. I lost my mom when I was little. Then I was adopted by my parents in the picture. But they went to heaven in an accident a few years ago. Looking up at the sky, I felt a bit lonely. However, I don't have time to be sentimental right now. It's, it's time, time to, to work, work again. again. I, I better, better do my, do my best. best. My adopted parents left me a little inheritance. But I spent it all right away from my high school tuition and living expenses. That's why I've been working on morning shifts and night shifts as well. 30 minutes later. When I arrived at the school, my classmates looked at me as if something was wrong. Ooh, Yota is here. His outfit is beat up as always, and he looks so pale. He almost looks like a homeless person. Let's get out of here. I tried to ignore what they said, and I quietly sat down. Same day, lunchtime. Oh. Uh, I hid so nobody would see me and took a rest behind the school. Then as Reno, Mamiya, was passing by me, who, by the way, hottest girl in our class. Why don't you stay under the sun? That's why you are so pessimistic all the time. She looked down at me, looked like she was disgusted with me, then left. Can't believe it. She was talking to me. Unlike me, Reno is a popular girl in school. She is beautiful, has a perfect shape, and is smart. I, I admire her. If I could live like Reno, I would enjoy living more. I, I wish, wish I could, I could talk, talk to her more. more. But, but there, there is a world, world of difference between, between me and her. her. It, it is, is impossible to have, to have a friendly, friendly conversation, conversation with her, with as, as expected. expected. I quit thinking about her then. I quietly started reading a book. A few days later... Stop it! Reno! I heard Reno's voice when I finished my part-time job. I was exhausted and walking around town. When I get closer, I see that guy is trying to hook up with her. Let me go! Why not? Let's hang out a bit. I don't want to. Hey, Reno! I ran up to Reno, who got into a desperate situation from the guy grabbing her arm. I then grabbed the guy's arm and twisted it up so I can let go of his arm from Reno. If you keep harassing her, I will twist your arm more. Ow, ow, ow! Can you just stop? I put strength in the guy's arm. He made a tiny scream and ran away. Phew! Wow. Everyone in the school think you are timid and weak, but you are actually a tough guy. Reno looked at me while blushing a little. I responded with the word with a little shyness. It may not look like it, but I actually got more muscular from my part-time job in physical labor. Oh, I see. But it was very helpful. Thank you. No problem. Well, then... W wait She grabbed my arm when I tried to leave. W what Can I buy you something to drink since you saved me? That's fine. No big deal. I didn't do anything anyway. Just come with me. Well... Watch out! I couldn't even resist the strong power, so I was dragged away by Reno. A few minutes later, we were drinking juice sitting next to each other in the park. But I didn't know that you had a part-time job. Otherwise, I can't live. Really? Why? I am left all alone in the world. My mom passed away when I was little. She was a single mom. My adopted parents who raised me passed away from a car accident. And that is why I had tough enough and live by myself. That's... Well, I don't think it was that serious. I'm doing fine for now, so no worries. I purposely showed a cheerful smile, but Reno looked at me sad. A couple of days later, what a big venue. I arrived at the convention center. Today, some of the top grades in school are coming to hear about the company's efforts on the SDGs. Don't look around and get lost, Yota, okay? Oh, okay. Reno casually pulled my arm and warned me. She was chosen as the representative today, just like me. 
By the way, you look more pale than usual today. Don't you think so too? I have felt a little dizzy since this morning. Really? Why are you here then? You should have stayed at home. Because they invited me. You don't get many opportunities like this, do you? That's true. But if you start feeling not well, please let me know. Okay, thanks. The people who came with us quickly moved on when we were talking. Let's follow them. All right. Wow. Suddenly, Rito got loud when we began to follow the group from school. What's wrong? Look at that. President Fujisawa is here. He is a president of the world famous company called A Group. I can't believe we get to see him. Wow, that's right. A man in a suit walks with someone who looks like a secretary from the back of the crowd. The man dressed in a luxury suit was President Fujisawa, who was often featured in financial newspapers. I remember, I remember he, he is, is one, one of the, of the world's, world's top, top billionaires. billionaires. He, is he is living, living in, in a totally, totally different, different world than, than mine. mine. As I was having that thought, President Fujisawa stopped in front of us. Hello, you guys are the students of B High School who were invited today. Yes, we are. We are so excited to learn something today. President Fujisawa looked at me with a heartwarming smile as I bowed my head. May I help you? Oh, sorry. I thought you looked alike to me. I imagined that my son would become a wonderful high school student like you. Don't you live with your son? Yeah. Unfortunately, I never met my son before. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Ah, my head shook the moment I bowed my head and then my vision went pure white. Mmm. When I woke up, I'm laying down in a bed of white space. Smells, Smells like, like L sanitizer. Is this, this a, a hospital? hospital? Thank goodness, you're finally awake. President Fujisawa, what are you doing here? Mr. Fujisawa looked desperately into my face as I lay in bed. He confused me when he squeezed my hand tightly. You don't have to call me president in a way that behaves like a stranger. Uh... A DNA test just confirmed the paternity. I am your father. Uh, excuse me? I am so sorry, Dota. Reno appeared from behind. President Fujisawa with a troll face when I got confused. What is happening here? Actually, I told Mr. Fujisawa about your childhood story while you were sleeping. Then he thought you might be his son, so he asked for a DNA test. So, that means President Fujisawa is my real dad? But I thought my dad divorced with my mom. I did divorce your mom just before I got married. My parents forced me to separate with her. I was so upset, but they told me there is a difference in status from your mother. I heard about the day you were born, but I was too busy working and never kept in touch with your mother. So you didn't know even my mom had passed away? No, I've been searching desperately for you and your mother, but I can only imagine how much difficulty you have gone through during that time. I am so sorry. From now on, we'll be together forever. I won't make you suffer at all. So please, ask me anytime. I can help. President Fujisawa, my dad told me and hugged me. I was still confused, but when I saw my father crying so apologetically, I thought I could believe his words. I took three days off to stay relaxed. Then on the fourth day, I went back to school. Oh my god, Delta is here. Good morning, Delta. Do you want to eat lunch with us today? What? What, what is, is this, this situation? situation? As soon as I went to school, I was surrounded by girls. They were screaming like a fan club. His hair is beautifully arranged today. And his uniform is brand new. Is it true that you were the son of A Group? Hey, can we go on a date? I see. Since the classmate found out that I am heir, they began to change how they treated me. I got uncomfortable with the situation, so I left the class and ran away. Phew! Nobody could find me if I stayed behind at the school building. <gasps> oh! I ran over Reno when I turned the corner of the school building. Reno fell down on her butt, and her skirt was disheveled. Well, wow. from, from that, that angle, angle, you can almost see her underwear. underwear. I was trying to not look up as much as I could while I picked up Reno. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. Reno answered. She looked sad and her voice was dull. Reno, did you get hurt? 
No, I'm good. But you don't look well. I was just surprised because I can't believe you really are the president's son. Plus, that is such a big company. She started talking to herself. Reno. Well. Sorry, don't try to talk to me anymore. What? Reno ran off without even making eye contact with me. Why, Why suddenly, suddenly she, she said, said not, not to, to talk, talk to her. her? But after that, everything was avoidable. And Reno and I ended up graduating from high school without really having a conversation. A few years later, I graduated from one of the famous colleges then. I got a position to work for my dad's company, Tanaka-san. I finished creating this document, Kimoto-san. I fixed this presentation. I returned the document to my seniors and quickly started working on the next task. He crushed it! At first, I thought he got to join the company because he is family. But he actually has skills. When I first joined the company, I was evaluated harshly. I, I will, will continue, continue to do, to do my, my best. best. That's what I was thinking about. Few months later. Hello, I'm Reno Mamiya. I'll do my best. What? R Reno? There is an even more beautiful Reno standing in front of me. Wh why are you here? Actually, I have to tell you something. I've been working hard to become a woman suitable for you. I really want to work for this company, so I applied once, but I failed after I graduated college. But I kept building my career. Then, fortunately, I got an offer to work for this company. Saying that, Reno laughed happily. W wait I don't understand. I thought you hated me. I thought I was not good enough for you because you came from a famous family. I was trying to cut off my feelings for you by not getting close to you. So that's why I had an unfriendly attitude while we were in the high school. I see. But I had more feelings for you since I blocked you. So I haven't given up yet. I will show you my work ability at this company. If you accept me, I want you to go on a date with me one time. Not only one time. Huh? I have been interested in you since we were students, but I got hurt feelings when you pushed me away. I didn't know why back then, but now I can tell you I love you. Then can we go on more dates? Of course. We could go on dates so many times. I'm so happy. I feel like a dream. I'm so glad I didn't give up and worked so hard. Reno cried and hugged me. I almost cried too and I hugged her back.